I'm good. I hadn't seen any activity around your house for about a week. I thought maybe y'all had got evicted or something. Well, you know, since you mentioned busy, you know that house down the street over there? Hmm. They got a lot of traffic down there. Okay. And uh, so uh, you didn't hear from me. How's LaMarcus? He, he's fine, he's fine. I got dinner for him right now. I'm about to go in there and get him some dinner. <laughs> oh, okay, well, uh, well, uh. I just didn't want to stop you, but you know, uh, he was coming home from school with some kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they said they were rough housing, but it didn't look like that to me. Mm. So, uh, you know, he was with that big head cowboy. I don't trust that boy. Because, you know, his daddy used to. Oh, Miss Joyce, uh-uh. Listen, Miss Joyce, I got to go. I got to go in there and get Lamarcus's food. I'm tired. I got to take a nap for my next shift. I got to be there for 10. I got to go, OK? All right, huh? But, uh, I understand. Okay. I really do appreciate you looking out for me. And LaMarcus, too. Well, honey, you can appreciate me by cutting some of this grass, too. You know, well, I'm scared of snakes and stuff. So, y'all. Bye. Hmm, Miss Joyce, no shame. Right. Who are we talking about me like that? Ooh, I'm tired. Oh, my feet hurt. Marcus! Marcus, now I know you hear me. Oh, boy, let me see what this boy up here doing. Oh, about to drop the food. Oh. Are you in here? What in the world? Oh, shit! Oh, Marcus! Yes, sir. How was school today? It, it was good. I got an A on my pre-cal exam. Ms. Parker, my counselor, talked to me about applying to Howard, and Coach Giles wants me to play linebacker for next week's game against Victory Prep. I'll talk to Coach Giles in the morning. Duke is going to be at the game, and you need to be at your best. You're a running back. But, but Dad, that's why he wanted me to play linebacker. Am I your father or Coach Jobs? Huh? Did you hear me, boy? I said I would talk to Coach Giles in the morning. You are my son, and I know what's best for you. And while I'm there, I'll talk to that dumb, ugly counselor of yours. We don't need her help. Howard, huh? But Dad, she said maybe I can get a full academic scholarship to Howard. <laughs> With those grades, you'd be lucky to get into community college. Son, you made an A in your pre-cal exam. Any dummy can do that. Impress me with an A plus. I mean, really, Kyle, what the heck am I paying for a tutor for? I, I could have got an A plus, but I ran out of time. Could have, would have, should have. But you did it. And what I tell you about time? Huh? Huh? Time waits for no man. Exactly. And you, little boy, you are not a man. Look at you. You got peanut butter on the corner of your mouth. Were you eating in your room? No, sir.
Come here. Look at this. A real man will put this back where it belongs. But a sloppy, sissy little boy would do this. What you crying for? You a cry baby. Huh. Just like a stupid mom. Get out of here! Hi, I'm Miss Smith, the social worker. Mm -hmm. You must be Miss Carmichael. All nurses to the nurses All yeah, that's nurses me. To the but you can call me Lexus. I don't think you can smoke in here. You okay? No, I'm tired. Okay, I'm a single parent. His dad don't give me a dime. Miss Carmichael, Lexus. I'm not here to judge your parenting skills. I'm here to find out what led to this. I already know what you're thinking. You think I neglected my child. Listen, ma'am, I work 10 hours shifts. Lexus, like I said, no judgment. I'm here to help your son. Why do kids bully other kids? I mean, I didn't even realize this was still happening. It happens for all kinds of reasons. In my line of business, I've seen a lot of things. You think I'm responsible, don't you? Why don't we find out what happened before we have this conversation? All right, come on. Marcus, Marcus, hey, somebody's here to see you. Get up. Miss Smith, what are you doing here? How are you doing? I'm here to help you. I'm so sorry. I can't imagine how they must have pushed you to make you not want to live anymore. Can you tell me what happened? Go ahead, tell her what happened. I'm only trying to help. It's too late. I feel numb. Why'd you bring me back? It's almost over. Because I love you. You have so much to live for. I can't take this bullying no more, Mom. I don't want to go back to that school. Can you tell me what happened? The lady, she is here to help you, okay? Well, I'll start it in front of Miss Gwen's classroom. I was turning a hallway corner when I accidentally bumped into Kyle. Huh. Well, well, well. If it isn't La Sissy, the wannabe of our step team. Oops. One too many steps, La Sissy. Get up. Get up. Give me this folder. Let's see what's in here. Uh -huh. You did your research. Is this Miss Guinness report? Hmm. Well, it's mine now.
You will never be a part of our team. We don't like nerds. Tell me what happened after school on June the 3rd. After speaking to Principal Hightower about the hallway incident, I thought the nightmare was all over. I mean, he said he would take care of everything. But sissy, hold up, let me holler at you. Listen, what did I tell you about trying to run away from me? Now, if you was a real man, you would have stood right there and stood up for yourself. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you want to hit me, don't you? Oh, is La Sissy about to get ready to cry? You know what? Do me a favor. Do us a favor. Kill yourself, punk. Was that necessary? I was afraid, Mama. I did what you said. Ignore him. I, I just took off running. The principal, the teachers, no one cares. I ask for help each time. It just keeps getting worse. I don't want to live anymore. I'm tired. They're making fun of me on World Star. but maybe I can help you. Excuse me? I'm LaMarcus's mother. You remember me? Oh, yeah, LaMarcus, Miss Carmichael. So, how is he? Recovering. My son is lucky. I'm glad my son is alive. But what are you gonna tell the next parent when they're not so lucky? Ma'am, I know you're upset, but we are taking care of the matter. How? I researched this school. There were 200 incidents this year. Have you solved any of them? Ma'am, with all due respect, our staff is highly visible in the school. I mean, we walk the halls, the playground, the bus stop, the cafeteria, and the classrooms every day. I'll look into it. My son almost died. What you mean you're gonna look into it? Ma'am, please understand that investigating bullying allegations is a time-consuming process. Time? We don't have time. Mr. Hightower, kids are dying. Let me tell you something. Time, it waits for no one. Miss Lexis! Miss Lexis! Please stop! Tell me what happened. Can you believe he told me that he'll look into it? Listen to me. We need parents to get involved. Take an active role on the committees. Show up at the meetings, school board sessions. Just don't give up. Educators can only do so much. You're asking a lot from me. I know. But we need parents to be our voices. You must speak up for your child. Here. We're having a meeting tonight. Try to come. Yeah, I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. Carl, did you tell Mrs. Carmichael, who almost lost her child, that you would look into it? You know how many complaints I have to investigate? Yeah, but this one has been reported several times. What is the holdup? They're filed away until we can get to them. What is your plan? Are you gonna change the market schedule? Are you gonna make Kyle step down from the step team? And what about providing mentors? Remember, the goal is to protect the children. You don't think I know that? My hands are tied. Kyle was removed from the premises. His dad just came and picked him up.
Ms. Walker, bring me every single report on bullying incidents from the past two years. I don't care. Find them. Thank you. Good enough? It's a start. I want to thank you. Thank me for, for what? Let me tell you why. Because of you, my one o'clock merger meeting was interrupted today. Because of you, I had to lie to my boss and tell her you got sick at school and it was an emergency. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> sorry, Dad, sorry, Dad. You are sorry. And I'm sorry you are my son. What in the days of Salem's lot did you do to get suspended for bullying, son? Only a dummy would get caught. But Dad, you don't understand. It wasn't my uh, fault. It's never your fault. When are you going to start taking responsibility for your actions, Kyle? I should have left you with your cuckoo, birdie brain mama. Dad, you don't understand. I, I, I didn't... Uh -huh. Oh, please. I understand. Watch this. How you let your so-called friends record and post you beating up the retard? Numbskull. What you don't seem to understand is that your childish behavior almost ruined your chances to get into Duke. They're gonna be there, but not you. Why? Because your silly behind got suspended. Ronald McDonald, his frat brother. This is Lieutenant Payne. How can I help you? What's up, man? Ronald Mac, my man. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Still trying to beat my score? Hey, you know, for good measure, I can bowl a 200 on my worst day, even with a peg leg, and still beat you. My league just became the regional champs. Ah. You know what? Hey, what can I do for you, brother? Oh. I want to thank you all for coming out this evening, and I want to introduce you to Candy. She started a Not Today. Uh, organization for bullying, so let's give it up for Candy. Um, I was bullied because of my size, so I know how it feels. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to be part of the solution. That's why our step team started a Not Today Bullying Awareness campaign. And we want to thank you for your support. I want to stress that there are other kinds of bullying. Physical bullying mm -hmm. is the most obvious form of bullying. Mm -hmm. Physical attacks on other students can be learned behavior. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the house is now carrying over into the schools. Well, see, my son faced name calling. Every single day, my baby would come home from school depressed. And I just kept telling him to ignore it. But it wasn't getting any better. So you know what I did? I went up to the school, and I asked if I could schedule a meeting with the parent and the child. But they declined. We got to do something about this. Most definitely. You all have heard of cyberbullying, right? Mm -hmm. Well, one day, my teenage daughter, Megan, left her computer on. And I seen her posting hurtful images, making online threats, and sending hurtful emails to one of her classmates. And I had to have a serious talk with her. Mm -hmm. But you know, she was only doing what had been done to her. That's not my story.
fix it by first fixing ourselves. I just found out my son's behavior almost caused a young boy to kill himself. Wait, 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 Marcus. Let me talk to you, man. man not today, bruh. What? You keep this up and you off the team. For it's what? today. For what? Look, I feel bad for what I done, for what you done. Like, I was just trying to apologize. Now I'm sorry. I took the video down, for real. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. Look, it'll never happen again. For real, I'm sorry. Hey, come on, like what are y'all doing? It's getting late. Please, just be a little bit. You guys hurry up. Yeah. Sorry. Just Look, man, if you, guys. If you would have killed yourself, I don't know what I would have done. I, I wasn't thinking. Thanks. You're welcome. We started a club called Not Today. No more bullying. For real? For real. Want to be on the team? Come on, join us. Yeah. So, she back, back What you gonna do is you gonna like just kind of pump and like and step like that. I did what you said. I apologized. We both need help. Let's go. Hey Mac, you're doing the right thing, man. We'll be fine. I promise you. You guys look great. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mr. Hightower. So, just kind of step. And, no, it's a step, just push. Chink. Now here we go from the streets, I know about hustling, I've been through the struggling, live the life as a thug, like when I'm giving it all, and it all falls down, okay, like when it's me against the world, seems like you're going through something, when I find my way back, I'll be alright, I believe the footsteps in the sand, somebody picked me up when I was lost with it, all I'm saying is, I'm laying it out. Come around. 